you're on tour at the moment. Yeah. Tell me, how is the tour going? It's going good, man. You know, I yeah? took the day off, come down these sides. I like your title, man. Was it Squid Games? Because it's an interesting show, that, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you try that. You remember they chucked the cards down mm. and the guy got slapped in the face? Yes. And if you win, what, £10,000? You try that shit in East London, it'll fuck you up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Depends just... on part of East London, boy. Ma Ma Go Shoreditch, them guys like that. Go on, they do it again, Mike. Fuck, you know. Oi, oi. Uh, Depends where you go, man. Kick that wanker into the tracks, <laughs> fucking wanker. They start singing in the street. <laughs> Sweet cat. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dawn, what do you think of Digger's uh, music? And what do you... Uh, are you a drill fan? Um, I'm more of a hip-hop, okay. R&B fan. OK. Uh, someone just kiss their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I'm more of a hip-hop, R&B. Uh, but, yeah, I listen to a little bit of dual music. Um, what I think of the music... I mean, music is music. Every sort of generation will have their music that they go to, you know, and that's the way, and that's the way it should be, mm -hmm. you know, and everybody will express themselves in, in whatever way. So, I mean, it's, it's cool. I mean, sometimes, you know, there's all this talk about whether dual music is responsible for violence. Um, I think people are responsible for violence, uh, not music. Like, if you ban drill music, it doesn't mean that you're going to stop violence. Um, but I feel like sometimes they want to just paint one picture for their narrative, cos you do a lot of work in your community, man. I see you in your, your community centre, you was giving out to, to the young kids, like, trainers and clothes, and all your friends, you, you help out your friends, but they don't put that into the papers, do you see what I'm saying? Oh, always. You They've know? always got a specific narrative, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like, 99% of young black men, you know, are law-abiding, go to school, but they want to focus on the 1% because that's the image that they want to portray mm. of black people. But it's up, to, it's up to us to say, you know, that's not the case. You know, I've got four brothers, so when they started to say to me, this is what black guys are like, I'm like, uh-uh, that's not what my brothers are like, that's not what my cousins are like, mm -hmm. so don't tell me what black men are like. And so I think that, you know, we have to counteract that narrative yeah. ourselves all the time. Big up, boy. Big up, boy.